Ken Bruce, I'm struggling with my time change after move from BBC. Ken Bruce said he is struggling with how his working hours will change as he prepares to launch a new show on Greatest Hits Radio after exiting the BBC. The veteran Scottish radio presenter had the last day of his Radio 2 mid-morning slot, which aired from 9.30 am to midday for more than 30 years, in March before moving to Boar's Greatest Hits Radio on Monday. His new show airs from 10 am to 1 pm and will feature Pop Master, which Bruce has brought over from the BBC due to him trademarking the long-standing segment. And hit songs from the 1970s, 1980s and 1990s. The popular radio quiz is still airing at the same time from 10, 30 am to 10, 50 am. When asked if there are adjustments he has to make since moving to Boya, Bruce told the PA news agency, I'm struggling to work my day out. I think I'm going to be going to bed an hour later because I just have to squeeze everything into the remaining hours of the day. Once I get my body clock, right. I think I'll be alright, but I'm really enjoying having a half hour extra in bed every morning. The 72 year old radio DJ added that he will be looking for lunch at 12. 30 p.m. when he is on air and joked there will be a problem with the microphones during this time. He also said his new radio show after leaving the BBC will be much the same and he is not looking to introduce massive great bells and whistle stuff into the format. Bruce added, it's just going to be nice things to keep people engaged, keep people listening. And taking part in the show, it'll just be much the same as it was before just in a different place. After joining BBC Radio Scotland in 1977 in his 30s, he went on to several other shows at the corporation. When asked how he was feeling about the move from a workplace after more than 40 years, Bruce said, well, I've got lots of friends still working at the BBC and who worked at the BBC for a long time. And still I'm very, very warm towards the BBC. I think it's a great organization. It was just time for me to leave and now, it's been quite a few weeks and really. I'm looking forward to doing a month or two, maybe a year or two, maybe a decade or two, on Greatest Hits Radio. Bruce said he also has plans to branch out to other avenues before adding he is not as young as he used to be. The BBC announced Gary Davis, host of the station's Sounds of the 80s will present the mid-morning show from March until TV presenter Vernon Kay takes over Bruce's Radio 2 slot at a date in the future. Bruce said he was seen as the young pretender when he first fronted the Radio 2 breakfast show. Taking over from the great Sir Terry Wogan in 1985. He added, I did get a fair bit of criticism but you just have to ride that through and people are always comparing something they've listened to for a long time with something that's brand new they're not familiar with. Bruce later moved to mid-mornings in 1986 and after a brief stint on late nights and early mornings. Returned to mid-mornings in January 1992. I don't give advice to other broadcasters, Irish broadcaster Sir Terry, refused to give me any advice. I asked him for it, he wouldn't do it, he added. So, I don't think I should give advice, but this will pass is all I ever can say, if it's not going as well as you might like. It'll get better soon. Don't worry, keep at it. Ken Bruce on Greatest Hits Radio airs weekdays from 10am to 1pm.